Good morning. It is September 16th. Today is Samantha's first day of <coughs> ballet recital. So we are on our way to SMC side now. And we're all dressed up. I'm wearing a purple dress. Sophia is two and Samantha is two. And she's going to be wearing her purple butterfly costume when we get there. So right now it's 10.42. Just like yesterday, we're trying to get there by 11. 11.30, 11.45 <clears throat> Oh my goodness That's the, the whole time But the The show doesn't start until 12.30 I think we're doing good so far okay. I think he's the only one not wearing purple Because we couldn't find a purple shirt for him <laughs> Yeah, he only has like blue, green Black t-shirts Or polo shirts yeah, exciting, but we won't be able to, huh? Do we have an umbrella? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we always gotta bring umbrella with us. Is it on the trunk? Nah, it's right here in front of me. Yeah. What was I saying? Oh, we are not gonna be able to film or take a video of Samantha's recital today. Unfortunately, they're not letting the parents or the audience to film anything. And they said that if you get caught filming something that you might get kicked out of the show. That's how um, strict they are. I think it's the, the Ayala. It's the, Ayala. it's the SM that doesn't want the audience to do that. Like, you know, the production is okay about it, but the, the SM is not letting. I don't know why. Uh oh. Yeah. Probably because they want people to buy the tickets. Oh yeah, to see it. One person to go film the whole thing and then That's right. else watch it. Yeah, because they can put it on live, right? Yeah, like and a live. Also live stream it. Yeah, so, right. live streaming. I'd say mm. that's the reason why. Yeah. So I guess it's just you know. I don't know. Use the reason. <clears throat> because now you, uh, anyone can just do a live show and no one is gonna be buying the ticket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and most of the people there. Like us, we paid for the ticket. The closer, uh, the closer one to the to the projector or to the stage. No, <laughs> to the stage is seven fifty, and then the farthest one. I don't know when when it stopped. It's like five hundred pesos towards the back. So yeah. <clears throat> Keep left to continue on Subang Dongo flyover. And they also have one for two hundred and fifty pesos. Um, I don't know. Just like towards the very back. Oh, exciting first day. So we were so tired yesterday. I fell asleep in the car. Good thing Nick didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha <laughs> did fall asleep and then she just slept the entire night. Yeah, she. I just had to brush her teeth while she was like sleeping halfway awake, help her wake up, sleep, and then put her pajamas on. So yeah, we're almost there. The SMC side. Yeah, about 17 minutes. I don't know why they packed this really, really far mall as a venue, but oh well. Yeah. It's so good right now. Not too bad, although it's about to rain. Good if it's raining because then all the motorcyclists will stay home. Oh, it is true. <laughs> That's true. All the motorcycles are like a bit, you know. Go hide. Yeah, no. Oh, they're still doing this road. What is he doing? What? Getting it wet. Oh. <laughs> Another day in the Philippines. <laughs>
They're so proud of you. The dancer are on the stage. Are you proud of yourself? Why? Huh? I saw you bump into your friend at the Ate earlier twice. You bump your head then. Is that why you don't like it anymore? Why? Lots of mean girls? Oh. Lots of mean girls. Well, we are here at Summit Hotel. We're staying here tonight. This is sweet. So, let's look at this. This is a room. And there's a, like a, it's a living room. And then it has a bathroom. Oh, it has a bathtub too. This is the toilet. There's a bathtub. There's a bathtub right here. There's a bathtub. And also our bedroom has a TV. And here's a bedroom. Damn. Wow. Oh, really? This is the other bedroom. We can watch TV in bed. All right, mommy needs to use the bathroom. Okay, I'll go next. I only have it in Ayala. I have a lot of Ayala, I'm not sure. Because that's where they have the ballet. Keep for breakfast. All right. Hey guys, good morning. So. We ended up staying at a hotel here, closer to the venue for Sophia's recital because we know that we're gonna be super tired. So right now we are here at a Summit Hotel near the Robinsons. And this is just 15 minutes away from SMC side instead of um, instead of an hour to an hour and a half drive for Nick. We decided to stay at a hotel nearby because the other night, it was really hard for him to drive. I was so tired because, you know, I've been waking up early. I wake up like at 5 in the morning every day. I've been waking up every every day since school started for the kids. So I was, you know, I'm always tired. So yesterday night, we were driving back home and I fell asleep. I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't help it anymore. I tried so hard to stay up, but I guess it's like catching up on me, all the sleeps that that I, you know, I've been lacking. And so last night I fell asleep and Nick, when we arrived home, he said, oh, I almost ran over 30 people. He said, but it was just a joke, I think, because here in the Philippines, um, well, not I think, but it was just a joke for him because here in the Philippines, a lot of people like, if you have been in the Philippines, if you've been in the Philippines, you know that uh, there are not many crosswalks here and also not many uh, overpass and so people would just cross in front of you and they will just extend their hand like this even at night they would do it and roads here are so dark at night and then people don't wear like white clothing they wear black clothing at night so it's so hard to see sometimes um, when they're crossing you just you know see them when they're like so close to your car and so I told Nick I think it might be better for all of us because we're all so tired Samantha's so tired Nick's so tired I'm so tired and Sophia is also she's not that tired but I'm pretty sure she's also kind of tired um so we just decided to stay at the hotel that's why it's so my long explanation why we are here at the hotel it's uh, the last day of Samantha's um ballet recital oh 
yeah i'm so happy i mean it's it's really nice like nick said yesterday that he feels so much pride to see uh, his daughter samantha on the stage you know because it's just it's being a parent just that's how it is you just so proud of your kids accomplishments and you just wanna like support them on what they want to do in their lives you know what what they want to pursue so for me if samantha wants to become a ballet dancer why not you know um as long as she's happy about it and also i'm pretty sure like it's not very um practical but some ballet dancers can make money like they can teach like her teachers are making money as a teacher or as a ballet dancer like samantha really likes dancing so that's why uh, we decided to enroll her to a ballet class in the first place and that taught her a lot that made it so easy for us to to transition from being just her stay at home to to enrolling to school because at the, at the ballet uh, center we have to leave her for at least an hour and a half or 45 to an hour um practicing by all by herself in the beginning she needed me to be there with her but towards now um only like a few months like almost a year actually no, not a year yet just a few months later she's she's already like so independent you can just leave her with with the teachers you can leave her with the crew like with this you know with with all her classmates are dancing um yesterday doing during the show a lot of parents are being called to the backstage because their kids were crying and i was like oh my gosh what if samantha's crying too um no she was I, i'm so proud because she she can handle herself now like she can um stay there and wait that's a long wait guys it's like an almost two hour show so most of the time they're waiting because they only have two parts of the show like two scenes but you know it's very short so the the waiting the being patient waiting part is really like the crucial part of it for their age especially so yeah i just made sure that i send her water and also um snacks like sweets especially because they need that energy right they need that energy to to dance so i make sure that she has like some chocolate in there some candies that like, could give her energy but of course after that she crashes but as long as she has the energy to you know to stay awake and stay focused on it. so right now she's still sleeping the room uh, uh, back there she's still sleeping we're trying to make sure that she you know she sleeps more and she gets more sleep this is the reason why also we stayed here so we can get more sleep all of us so the, we don't have to wake up super early to drive to smc side and then you know and then we are not getting sleep and yeah we know that we're gonna be so tired today so that's why i said like you know let's stay at a hotel and and i know it's expensive it's should not be part of you know the, the expenses for us but hey it's better to be safe than you know us <laughs> getting into an accident knock on wood so yeah so i told nick it's not really worth it if you're tired we can we, we have to stay somewhere near somewhere nearby because you can't drive like that you can't drive tired and i cannot drive like that too i was so tired i was so first one was like out um so anyway 